Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to share a new digital file that I have available in my shop. This is a bundle of SVG files for paper crafting, for junk journals, for journal makers, bookmakers, and just general crafters, DIYers, and even planners. I wanted a file that had templates of pretty much everything I could think of at the time to use in my junk journal. This came about as I was working on my journal for Junk Journal July. So let's just get into what we have here. So I'm, I actually have two files. I have this big kit of SVG files, but I'm also adding to the shop this spool SVG file and I printed some on just craft paper and they're kind of mixed up. And then I also printed some on just a piece of misprinted paper. I had pr printed some florals on this paper and it misprinted. So, and I just cut them out of this piece of cardstock and look how cute they came out. So, I'm just showing that you can, if you have some misprint paper that you don't want to throw away and you want to use it, this could be a great way to use it. And again, it could be a element or a piece of ephemera or part of a collage in your junk journal. And then I also printed some in craft paper that I'm thinking I will offer in my shop a packet of 30. Uh, if anybody's interested in that, drop down in the comments and let me know and I'll get to it. But I just wanted to share those and this digital file will be available on my website at scrapcraftastic.com and it will be in the shop. Now onto the big file. This is not just SVG files, so it will be available as PDF, PNG, JPEG, and studio files. This can be used with either the Silhouette or Cricut, depending on what version of Silhouette you have. And the SVG files work great in Cricut. I use my Cricut to cut all of this out, and we'll get to that. But this is what's in the file. This is a coin envelope with the insert for it. Here's an insert that can be folded in half for it, so it'd be like a booklet style. A tag. This is a bow tab. This is an envelope with a foldable insert for it. I know these are just rectangular shapes that you could cut yourself, but if you're using your digital die cutter to cut out these uh, shapes, why not go ahead and cut the rectangle out too and just have it all together so that's why I did that so again this is the folded piece that fits inside the envelope this is just a single sheet that fits inside these are decorative pieces that can be used for embellishments collage anything you want and the great thing about this also it is an SVG file but you can separate all of these items say if you want a whole page of this design. You can pull this out of this file and place it into a new file and just copy it over and over again and cut it and have a whole page of just that shape. Then we have the envelope with the insert. We have a squared edge tab, a rounded edge tab. We have the circular tab, circular tab with a scallop, and then a scallop circle. Also, with these SVG files, you can adjust the size. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can. This is just a pocket. You have a decorative edge pocket and then just the half circle notched pocket. They have the flaps for you to glue them together to make the pocket. This is a foldable piece to fit in the pocket. This is the squared piece to fit in the pocket. This is a tab. We have some banners that you can use for embellishments, some wider tabs like the other ones that were on this page. So we have the rounded edge one and the squared edge one. And then around that is a Polaroid frame. Then we have some tickets. This is a single ticket and this one actually has the perforation. So when you cut it with the digital cutter, it has the perforation. This one does not. And these are bows. So this is a bigger, a larger bow. This is the wings or I don't know what you call that part of the bow, but I'll show you in just a moment. This is a bow and it has like a scalloped 
decorative edge on it and this is the back part of the bow this is a tag and it will also fit in these pockets it'll fit in this pocket it also this pocket also comes with this tag and then we have an extra smaller tag with the scalloped edge the pocket has the scalloped decorative uh, edge on the pocket then we have a folder this is approximately four by six so you fold this in half and score it just like a file folder we have some numbers for embellishments collages um, just an element to add to your pages another tag and then this is a label you could use this on any of these items this is like recipe cards or organization cards your cards with a tab on them you can embellish them use uh, coffee stained paper on them sew them or use them as is those are just some of the ideas that I had for using them here you have a heart and a scalloped heart you have a butterfly and a leaf again you can pull these out put them in a blank file and do a repeat and print as many as you want then this is a full page of flowers again you can change the size make them smaller make them bigger use them in different combinations you can pull one out and make a whole sheet of just that flower do whatever you like and then this last page is corner pockets so this is just a plain corner pocket this is a scallop. This is a tiny envelope with a foldable insert that fits inside. And then here we have two Rolodex style cards, one with a tab in the middle, one with a tab on one side. And if you flip it over, the tab will be on the other side. So essentially you have three tab locations here. So that is everything that comes in this digital file. This is the kit. Now let's look at everything that I've cut from that file. So let's take out the big pieces first. Did I talk about the tickets? I think I missed this page. But this is an envelope also with tickets that are connected. There's a perforation. And then the loose tickets. I think I missed that page. Sorry about that. Okay. And also if you don't have a digital cutter and you want to use this file, you could download the file and especially the bigger things you could cut them out or you could actually just print it on your scrapbook paper so if you have a, a paper with a design just print it on there and then cut it out and you could do that with your digital cutter too and do like I did with these spools I had the paper already printed I just put it on my mat and cut and so they automatically had the design on them if you have a scrapbooking paper cardstock with a design on it, you can use that in your digital cutter to cut these files out. Okay, so I'm not going to go in any particular order, but this is the bow. Okay, so I just made all of these out of craft paper just so that you could get a feel for what it looks like. This is the Polaroid frame. Here's one of the tags. Let's just take all this out. Here are the long tabs. These are the flowers. And again, I cut these on my Cricut. This is the label. More flowers. Here is the small bow with the scalloped edge. You see that? This is a ticket with the perforation. Can you see the perforation there? So the, the digital cutter cut the perforation in there. Here's another flower. Here's another flower. A tag. Here's the, the two-piece ticket without the perforation. This is the bow tab, so it would go on your page like this. Uh, let's see. Here's that. So it would just attach like this on your page. This is a decorative shape, scallop shape. These are all tickets. I cut extra tickets so um, because I want to use them on a project. This goes in the teeny tiny envelope. 
here is the rounded tab I guess I can keep all the tabs together this is the banner so you could use it maybe something like this on your frame you could use it on the pockets which I'll show you shortly here's some more of those tickets here's the butterfly it's kind of a different butterfly here's that tab this is a different type of tab this is the tiny envelope I did not put it together here's another banner again you could use it on on a tag on your label I mean you can use it on anything here's the scalloped tab folded here's another flower the leaf that goes with the flowers this is the heart here's another leaf this one has like the jagged edge this one is just smooth and modern <laughs> then we have the scalloped heart a smaller leaf and then this scalloped open scallop shape okay now to the bigger items here is the ticket strip there's four tickets and I have it set so that the machine will cut the perforation this is let's start with this I bundled them up a little bit here you get so much um, this is a corner pocket with the scallops so this would go on your page let's see here's my junk journal in progress <laughs> I'm not making much progress but it would go on your page like this and you could decorate the outside and you could put items on the inside and again if this is too big because this is an SVG file you can decrease the size and even if you're using it manually say with the PDF or with the JPEGs or PINGs you can still reduce the size of the template that you print out just by changing the percentage the size percentage okay so we did the scalloped edge pocket now here is the straight edge pocket and again this would go the same you use it the same way you can use it on the left or the right depending on the design that of paper that you cut it can work either way so it can be this way or it can be that way then here is a large tag and it can go with any of these pockets pretty much but there's a pocket and the tag can fit right down in there Where's another pocket? Here's another pocket. This one has more of a design to it, but it can fit right down in there just like that. So any of the pockets work with that. This is the Rolodex with the center tab, and then here's the one with the side tab. And again, depending on how you want to use it, you can flip it over and use it as the right tab. So that works either way. Here is another pocket with the tag I think this is the tag that goes with this pocket and you see the shape is the same but again they're interchangeable you can use them with either one okay so there's that this one is the one that goes with this and then that's the plain one then here is the folder with the recipe style cards let's take the cards out so this is the folder you can see I scored it like a regular file folder would be but this is what it looks like and if you want to use it the other way you can just depends on which way you fold it I did not do a center one of this one but I think the side offset was enough this is kind of a big piece and then here are the recipe style cards or index style cards with tabs that can be decorated all of this can be decorated and used in a number of ways I'm just going to stick those in there because we're running out of room we have so much okay then we have this envelope with a decorative edge this is the inside edge and just the folded P 
piece, card piece, that slides right down in there. So it comes with the insert for all of the pockets and envelopes. Then here are the numbers. I've lost some of these somehow from the cutter to the little box that I was using. I lost some, but these are the numbers. This is what they look like. They're really small, and I may go back if if there is a demand for it and do letters also. I may do a, just a separate sheet, bonus sheet of alpha. Then let's see what do we have next? Oh, I did make for the recipe cards. That's what I did. I printed ex an extra recipe card, but the file actually comes with these two. So you have one for the center and one for each end. So this one is actually extra. <laughs> so you have the left, you can flip it over and use it for the right, and then you have the center. So the same uh, setup as the Rolodex cards with the tabs. Then let's see, getting towards the end here. This is a small coin envelope with the insert that goes with it. So when you cut the envelope, you cut the insert too. Here is another tag. Then we have another envelope with the small card that fits down inside. There we go. And it folds over like this. And then we also have this envelope with a fold over card that fits down inside and a single card. goes like that so you have so many options <laughs> and okay, this is the card for this one just a plain card so you have one two three pockets this style of pocket you have two corner pockets you have one two three envelopes well four envelopes then you have the file folder with the cards and you have the Rolodex. You have three standalone tags with different shapes. Again, I try to make everything different so you have a variety. And then you have all the smaller embellishments or things that you can use to make ephemera. So this kit is available in the shop on my website at scrapcraftastic.com. You will see me using this in upcoming videos, but I really want to just come on and share and show you everything that you get in this kit. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!